15% of Britney Spears. It's not huge, but it is a majority. What are you thinking, John? I'm thinking that more than half is, is quite reassuring, although 24% for Duffy mm. and 19% for Britney Spears, so it's, it's, it's split. Uh, like Either people like no or they don't know and they're guessing. And I'm just wondering whether I need to sort of use another lifeline. I'm also thinking 50-50 wouldn't do me a lot of good because I plain don't know, so it would be a guess if I did it. And I'm just trying to get my head around if any of my phone of friends would know as well, so I'm not too sure about that. So on the basis that I'm not sure about using the other lifelines, I'm going to go with the audience on. I'm going to take Mariah Carey. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. You know, once it goes to orange, you can't change your mind. Yeah. You've just won £10,000. <laughs> OK, it was a gamble. It was a good gamble. 50 odd percent. Right, now, 50,000 is not a million miles away. 50,000 is two right answers away. You have £10,000, John. You can obviously take that and walk away, which would not be a bad, probably seven or eight minutes' work um, at all. But, question number six, you could double your money here to £20,000. You're two away from 50000 You still have a 50-50, and you can phone a friend. Question number six for £20,000 is this. Thus, with a kiss, I die are the last words spoken by which Shakespearean character? King Lear, Othello, Romeo, Ophelia. Now, do you know your Shakespeare? I know some Shakespeare, and I'm leaning towards one particular name on there, but I don't know whether I know it well enough to go for it. Can I play my 50-50, please, on this one? You can. Computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave John the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. What's that done? It's still there. And again, based on the fact I'm not sure if my phone of friends would know this. And the fact you only get a chance to sit here once. I'll play on this and I'm going to say Romeo. Final answer. Final answer. Not Lear. Put it this way, I hope not. You lose £9,000 if you're wrong. John, we'll take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes. Don't go away. Welcome back to the third part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, where John Harcourt is on the edge of his seat, wondering whether he's just lost £9,000 or won £20,000. Uh, the question was, thus with a kiss I die, are the last words spoken by which Shakespearean character? He had a 50-50. He did not use his phone a friend. He got rid of two. He was left with King Lear and Romeo, and he went for Romeo. John? Yes, Chris. You just won £20,000. <laughs> and you weren't sure, were you? Not completely, no. Oh. He, uh, he actually killed himself by drinking poison. Have a look. Question number seven, if you went for it and gave me the right answer, we'd guarantee you're going back to Gravesend in Kent with at least £50,000. World Cruise, here we come. Right, let's have a look. Who does Anne Hathaway portray in the 2007 film Becoming Jane? 
Jane Austen, Jane Seymour, Calamity Jane, Lady Jane Grey. That's worth £50,000. I think I know the answer, but I don't want to rush into it without thinking about it. What's your inclination? As I said, I'm torn between two. I'm torn between um, Lady Jane Grey and Jane Austen. I'm okay. trying to get my head round which one of my phone of friends is most likely to, to know. Okay. I've got two that uh, are into films, but I'm not sure these are t <laughs> this type of uh, classic is uh, either of their specialities. Who does Anne Hathaway portray in the 2007 film Becoming Jane for £50,000? Jane Austen, Jane Seymour, Calamity Jane or Lady Jane Grey? I'm going to phone a friend I'd like Nicola. Nicola, OK, where's she? Kent? She's in... No, yeah, she's in Kent. She's in a little village just outside Gravesend and I'm hoping that her, our granddaughter is not awake because this could get awkward. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, do you want me to tell us for 50 grand? No, thank you. Definitely not. Hello? Nicola? Hello. Chris Tarrant? Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You don't sound fine. Nicola, you sound a little bit worried. Oh, a little bit, but I'm fine. OK, well, you know what it means. It means John's here, John's doing well. He's in the chair. He's stuck on a particular question. He needs your help. Right, OK. All right, darling, fingers crossed. Next voice you hear will be John's. You tell her the question, there are still four possible answers. One, obviously, is the right answer, the one we want. OK. OK. John, fingers crossed, mate, you've got 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Hello, Nick. Hello. Who does Anne Hathaway portray in the 2007 film Becoming Jane? Is it Jane Austen, Jane Seymour, Calamity Jane or Lady Jane Grey? It's Jane Austen. Are you sure of that, Nick? Yes. OK, Nick, thanks ever so much indeed. All the best to Katie. OK, bye. Bye-bye. I don't think I'll put her down as a don't know on that one. No, she sounded quite yeah. totally confident. That was my leaning as well, so I'm going to go with Nick's inkling and I'm going to say the answer is Jane Austen. Final answer. Final answer. You just won £50,000. <laughs> Goodbye. Good man, John Harcourt. That doesn't come Great phone a friend. I have to say, she was yeah. absolutely just what you want. No mucking okay. about. Confident, 100%. Yeah. There you are. Have a look. That's what you've done. Oh, that We're looks going good. round the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is the minimum amount okay. you will leave here with tonight. Yeah. It could be more, but you will go home with at least 50 fat ones. Thank you. That's brilliant. Now, you've got 50 grand, but. You might as well play the next question, John. You know, you cannot lose on this one anyway. You've got 50 grand guaranteed. You've got no more lifelines, but they certainly help get you this far. Have a look at question number eight. It's for £75,000. You are just five away from one million. Have a look at this. Question number eight of a possible 12. In which month of 1926 did Britain's general strike take place? January. March. May. July. Take your time. Even if you haven't a clue, you should play this. It's worth 75 grand. You can't lose money on it. I'm going to have a punt at it. As I say, I can't lose anything. By I, I, I actually don't have a clue uh, which month it is. Again, I'm torn between two. Um, March seems to be leaping off the screen at me, so I shall go for March. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. You had fifty thousand pounds. <laughs> you still have fifty thousand pounds. I'm afraid the right answer was May. It's the other one. Yeah. You weren't far out, actually. <laughs> but not bad, was it? Glad yeah. you came. Yeah, it's all right. Have a look at it. The big hand, he goes away with £50,000! Whatever, man, enjoy it. Have a good cruise. Cheers. Cheers. So, we 
we still have nine millionaires in waiting, hoping to flash their fastest fingers this time around. Nice and quiet, please, in the audience. Here comes their next question. Put these Academy Award-winning films in the order they were first released. Crash, Gandhi, Casablanca, Gladiator. Those early smiles, they're all frowning now. Let's see, let's see um, the right order first and foremost. Um, Casablanca with Humphrey Bogart uh, back in 42, then Gandhi, 1982, Gladiator, Russell Crowe, 2000, most recent Crash in 2004. So that's the right order. Now we've got nine left. How many got it right out of nine? Quite a few. Who was fastest? Uh, Donna Higgins in 4.40 seconds. Come on, Donna, just sit there. <laughs> You sit there smiling. <laughs> you have to go up here, but if you up there, otherwise it won't work. Are you all right now? OK, no. Come on, be calm. <laughs> right, now we have Donna Higgins, a chartered surveyor from Wishaw in North Lanarkshire. Donna is currently planning and developing new houses for the high end of the market. She has her work cut out at home as well because she is a single mum to three boys, 12-year-old twins Dominic and Ronan and 7-year-old Eamon. Sister Andrea has come along to support her this evening, but apparently Andrea was more concerned about Donna's clothes and makeup for the show <laughs> than whether she actually knows anything. <laughs> Donna has just turned 40, quite proud of it, and she's hoping that the old adage is true and life will indeed begin again. If she does well on the show, she says she'd love to pay her mum and dad back for all the help and support they've given us since she became a single mum. Hope we can do it. 12 questions, three brand new lifelines, one million pounds. I think that would help quite a lot. Donna, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? So, question number one is for 500 pounds. You have all three lifelines. Here we go. Which word is normally used to describe animals at risk of extinction? Jeopardised. Menaced. Endangered. Imperiled. Endangered. That's the right answer. Don't need to worry. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Nobody's ever, ever gone out on the first question. It has happened famously in America. Right, okay. question number two will guarantee you 1,000 pounds. You have all three lifelines, Donna. Here we go. Blackpool Tower is modelled on which other famous structure? Sears Tower, Empire State Building, Space Needle, Eiffel Tower. That's the Eiffel Tower. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000, Donna Higgins. <laughs> Of course you'd like a million. Fantastic if you do, but, but what would be realistic? <laughs> 50,000 would be fantastic. You've just seen that one before you've realised? I know that kind of inspired me a wee bit. Good. Are you inspired? OK, let's see. Question number three is for £2,000. You have all three lifelines untouched. Here we go. Complete the title of the song Midnight Train to... Georgia. Mississippi. Louisiana. Florida. That's E. Georgia. How do you know? Because I've got the album. Who by? Can't remember, but I have it in my collection. It's been a long time since it's been played because it's on vinyl. Final answer? Yeah. It's the right answer. <laughs> when you look at your old vinyl album <laughs> cover, I bet you it says Gladys Knight. That is Gladys Knight. My mum's called Gladys. Is she? Yeah. So are you one of her pips? I'm one of her pips. <laughs> the pips. other one's sitting up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. That is not the two pips. You have £2,000. Question number four is for 5000 As what is Thierry Mugler most famous? Fashion designer, philosopher, footballer, poet.
What are you thinking, Donna? 